it is definitely time to trim these ends like did it be the word that I said Cause I was hoping you would come back subscribe to the channel stay tuned on how to trim these ends because you know they need to be trimmed if you're returning to my channel welcome back <laughs> um hey you guys um it is definitely time to trim these ends like if you guys couldn't tell um and a few people have been asking me how long my hair is so i'm gonna show you two different like two different measurements this is like going down right here this is one and this is the other it just basically comes down to my lip i just have some stuff on my lips so i'm not going to touch my lip as you can see but my hair is pretty long and um before you ask i did not blow dry my hair before i started recording i actually had my hair my hair in the two ponytails but recently just really recently i've had my hair like sectioned off for the two ponytails which is why you can still see the part very defined and twist it up so it sectioned it was sectioned for the two ponytails but it was twisted up in, in a scarf so this is how it looks when i take it out and i am actually just combing my hair right now because you know you need to detangle your hair actually you're supposed to start from the end and then work your way down but i'm hard-headed so i go like this because it's a habit for me now but that's only because I already, I already had already detangled it before I started recording, so I'm actually just, you know, going through to make sure I combed every inch of it. Um, now for this video, I'm gonna need either a clip or some rubber bands. I actually just bought the clip. <laughs> you're gonna need a wide tooth comb, and you're going to need a fine tooth comb, and also some scissors because, of course, we're trimming ends, so we need something to trim it with, right? So, I've picked up two different ways on how to trim your ends. So, I'm going to show you one way. Okay, so you guys, this is the first way of how I learned how to trim my edges. Why do I keep trying to say edges? <laughs> that is just so weird. So, you just section off a piece of hair, right? You use the fine tooth comb to comb all the way through to make sure it's completely detangled this is the first way I don't know if you guys can see um, I don't know if you guys can see or not but you used to find two comb to detangle it further And as you can see, I don't really need a whole lot of my ends trimmed, so I'm just gonna take the comb all the way down. You need a really tight grip on it because the hair will, you know, try to move out of place. So you do it as many times as you need to. Sometimes I also do it like this because it's a lot more easier than, you know, going like this because of course the hair is gonna keep sliding. But you get it to where you need to clip your ends at. Pretty sure you guys can see it. And then you 
this is how much I'm clipping off where my fingers is to right there. And I'm just gonna comb back there to make sure all the ends are off. And then I'm going to twist it up. Now I didn't take a big section of hair so the twist is fairly thin if you can see it. You can see you guys I actually you know just braided it up. We're about to get in I'm gonna section off a bigger piece of hair this time so you guys can actually see. But this is the second way I learned how to do it. You still have to, you know, go through starting at your ends and detangle it with the fine tooth comb. And this is why I say you need a clip because the clip actually helps to keep that section of hair, you know, sectioned. <laughs> and my hair is really thick, so anyway. I really hate combing my hair, you guys. I mean, it's not that it's hard, it's just that I don't really like doing it. So, I'm just gonna comb your hair until it's completely, you know, detangled. And the way I learned how to do it was twist your hair. Just twist your hair first. And when you twist your hair, you know where to cut because of the stringy part. Like you twist it all the way down, you will get this long stringy part. You're not supposed to have that part. So I'm just gonna cut right there. And my hair doesn't hold twists unless products are in it again. So of course the twist came out. <laughs> but if your hair holds twists, unlike mine, your twist would still stay and it would be a pretty twist. So I'm just gonna braid this part up because you know, twist does not hold in my hair when there's no products in it. My hair actually is gonna look really crazy because it's completely dry, but I've uh, not put anything in it. It's no point of putting products in your hair if you're about to wash it right out within the next 30 minutes to an hour. So that would be a waste of products and a waste of your money. If you haven't noticed, so. I didn't put anything in there <laughs> and I'm going to be looking really crazy. I'm just going to go in and trim the rest of my ends. I decided to go in and do the second method. So I'm just going through detangling my hair, braiding it up and cutting the ends off that, you know, looks raggedy. specific way that you have to um, braid or twist your hair to do this you just have to do it, it the braids and twist does not have to be fancy as you can see mine's look crazy <laughs> so they do not have to be fancy at all they just have to be neat enough so when you get down to the end you know exactly where you're cutting and where not to cut because if you cut in the wrong spot you can cut off some of your healthy hair
after um I finished you know trimming my uh, my ends, this is how much altogether I wound up just really trimming. Um. And my hair is still full and still around the same length. It's just a little shorter because I, you know, trim my ends, my ends, my ends. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. So um, now I'm gonna show you the after length, which isn't really that much of a difference. But my hair wasn't gonna be health healthily growing with those ends looking like that. So. And as you can see, it's a lot easier for me to comb through my hair with a fine tooth comb because my ends are my bed ends are now gone. So it's just roughly around the same amount. I just cut the the little part off because you know it was unhealthy. Um, you could tell that your ends are unhealthy because you know your hair. I know my hair, so I can always tell when my ends are un unhealthy, and it's time you know trim my ends. So when you could tell that your your ends are unhealthy is more so when you get like normally when you comb your hair you're supposed to have like a little shedding depending on how often you have your hair out and um I don't have my hair out often because I always wear my wigs so when I take my hair out to wash it it's always a lot of shedding for me but if you get more shedding than usual and your ends are really tough and your hair is harder to comb through like Right now, I could comb through my hair with this fine tooth comb with no problem. But when my ends were really tough, it, it was just more so harder to comb my hair because the ends were really, really brittle and un, like really unhealthy. So now it's really easy. I can comb through it. Sorry, I had grabbed some baby hairs. <laughs> I have 4C hair, so my baby hairs, they like to curl up. The ones in the front aren't really the problem. The ones in the back are, they get really, when they get wet, and they did recently get wet, when they get wet, they curl up into tight curls, so it's harder to comb them. It's not that my ends are bad right there, or, you know, I just didn't trims right there. It's just more so my hair curled up really tightly. And remind you, I did not blow dry my hair before I did this. I just had it in, I just had it sectioned off like this. This is halfway sectioned. And the puff balls I usually have are like this. So I'll just like twist it up and then put my scarf on. This is only for like if you don't trust salons or the person that usually clips your ends is busy or the person you trust to clip your ends is busy and you have no other choice. Me, I just, you know, do it now because everyone was busy, I was busy, so my schedule didn't fit with everyone else's schedule. And I've been working a lot, so it's more convenient for me to do it now. But here's the end result and as you can see it's not that much of a difference it's just more so it's more healthy but yeah thanks to you guys for watching my video like comment subscribe and share if you feel like this video helped you you know trim your ends successfully share the video